students, um, you have already been introduced to a, a simple data communication model or a simple data communication system. Data communication, as I've already told you, is the exchange of information or the transfer of data from a source system to a destination system using a transmission medium. Very simple. This transmission medium or transmission system is the carrier of the information from point A, which we called as a source, to point B, which is our destination. Now, students, this communication system ki kuch characteristics is lecture mein study karenge. Ye characteristics jo hain, they are actually the benchmark of how efficient, of how good our data communication system is. Students, agar in char characteristics ka hum khayal rakhe, and if our data communication model or the system, it adheres to these four characteristics in a way that they are perfect or close to perfect, then we have got simple or complex, we have got a very efficient communication system. Students, pehli characteristics jo hai, that is delivery. If you are going to be sending um, a letter via a postman, for example, you use a normal uh, post and you send a letter, what's the intention behind it? You actually write something, you put it in, a, uh, in, a, in an envelope, and then you send it from point A to point B using the postal service. The expectation is that this letter will successfully get from point A to where you want to send it. Delivery is a basic characteristic of any communication system. Postal mail is actually a communication system, by the way. But for any digital communication system, for any um, communication system, and, and we are going to be talking about multiple types. Delivery of information is a basic characteristic that decides on how well the data communication system is performing or whether it's even a data communication system or not. If the message that we are sending from point A to point B does not get delivered to point B, it does not get to the destination, then that system is not even a data communication system to start with let aside us trying to decide on how efficient or how good that system is. Students, the second characteristic is the accuracy. You write an email. You send it via your computer, via your modem, on a transmission medium to a destination. Let's suppose you have three distinct text paragraphs in your email. If it gets to point B, or if it gets to destination with only one text paragraph, with two of them not even making it to the destination, then the whole context of what you're writing has got no purpose. Your message is incomplete. A data communication system that does not adhere to the accuracy standards, once again, is useless. So the characteristic uh, that decides on Another characteristic that decides on the performance or the efficiency of a data communication system is the accuracy of the data in terms of what's received at the destination. So the third characteristic is the timeliness. The timed delivery of the data from point A to point B. Think about the audio that you send from point A to point B. What if we can divide that audio into multiple parts. What if the last part reaches the destination first and the first part is delayed by a certain amount? So it's that piece of audio or if you apply the same context to the video as well, will not make any sense uh, to the receiver. It will not make any sense when it reaches the destination. Timeliness is another characteristic of a data communication system that decides on how good that system is. Then students, chitter. Chitter, once again, is the variation in the amount of time, is the variation in the arrival of packets at the destination. You are sending 10 packets. What if packet 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 are delayed? 
and packet 6, 7, 8 and 9 are received at the destination first. That video will just uh, be an, an incorrect or, 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 a, or a piece of information that has reached the destination which is not in order, which is not in the correct format that we have delivered it from point A going into point B. So students, these chand characteristics hain, that will guide us throughout the course. Every single part of the data communication system that we are going to be talking about. Once again, be it the source. And I'm going to be repeating it over and over again. Source, destination, transmission medium. The simplest of the communication model. Every single part of this communication model has to adhere to these characteristics for it to be a successful or an efficient communication system. 